What is Wildfire? Wildfire is a wooden roller coaster located at Kolmarden Wildlife Park in Estietland, Sweden. The ride open to the public is Europe's tallest, steepest, and fastest wooden roller coaster and also features the longest drop and most inversions on any wooden roller coaster in Europe, too. With these impressive statistics, the park dubs their attraction the world's best wooden roller coaster. But what's the alleged world's best wooden coaster doing in the middle of Kolmarden, a zoo? The history of Kolmarden dates back to 1962 when Ulf Svensson proposed the idea of building a leisure park with a zoo as a way to attract attention to the area of Kolmarden. He wanted a location in which hundreds of animals could roam around freely and in 1965 they bought 210 animals from Denmark and opened the newly built zoo to the public. Kolmarden was an instant success and saw further expansion soon after. In the years following, the leisure park was home to one of the largest polar bear facilities in Europe, a dolphinarium, a drive through safari and a tropicarium. Kolmarden continued to expand, opening Europe's longest circular cable car in 1967 the Forest Farm, a rescue facility for injured animals in 1982, and the Wilderness Hotel, on-site accommodation for guests in 1984. However, at this point, the park was still very much a zoo. Though, Kolmarden's direction changed in 2001 when it was acquired by Parks and Resorts Scandinavia, the current operators of theme parks such as Groenland and Skada Summerland. With their leadership, the park began to expand at a quicker rate. In 2007, they debuted Tiger World, a large tiger exhibit. The year after saw the expansion of the Dolphinarium into Marine World, a distinct section of the park. While in 2009, Kolmarden took its first steps towards becoming more than a wildlife park by constructing their first roller coaster, Delphine Expressen, a Vacoma Junior coaster in the Marine World area. The following year saw the closure of the drive through safari to make way for a new, unique attraction. In 2011, the Safari Gondola opened to guests, a 2.6km, 1.6-mile-long cable car that carries visitors over the safari, providing them with an aerial view of five different landscapes, each with their own assortment of animals. Following the opening of Marine World, Kolmarden opened a second themed area in 2014, this time themed to the cartoon character Bamsa. The land saw the debut of multiple new attractions, including the Zero Force coaster, Good as Target, in 2015. Then, just a single year later, in 2016, Wildfire opened to guests. But why then? Why a thrilling roller coaster? And why would? The modern roller coaster renaissance began back in the early 1970s, and in the following decades, huge progress and innovation flooded the industry. However, this was mainly focused on steel roller coasters which began to outshine their wooden variations. Still, wooden roller coasters did evolve just at a much slower pace. This changed with the turn of the new millennium. In 2001, Hyder Park constructed Colossus, an innovative ride which became Europe's tallest, steepest and fastest wooden roller coaster at the time. Colossus was Intamin's first prefabricated wooden coaster, a new type of ride which was fabricated off-site using precise machinery, allowing for it to be slotted together at the park. Prior to this, wooden roller coasters were traditionally built entirely at the park, with wood being cut, bolted, and secured into position on-site. The accurate nature of prefabrication allowed for much larger and extreme rides to be built. Fast forward a decade, and a different company were revolutionizing the wooden roller coaster industry. Rocky Mad Construction, referred to as RMC, began working on a brand new concept for the next generation of wooden attractions in 2010. Dubbed the Topper Track, the concept altered the design of traditional wooden roller coaster track, making it stronger and more durable. Three years later, in 2013, RMC built Outlaw Run at Silver Dollar City, the first roller coaster to utilize the new Topper Track. Due to its added strength, Rocky Mountain Construction was able to incorporate elements that had never been done on wooden coasters before, including heavy banking, the world's steepest wooden roller coaster drop at 81 degrees, and multiple inversions. At roughly the same point in time as the development of the Topper Track, Kolmarden were hoping to expand in a new direction. Johan Tidstrand, the principal owner of the park, wanted to construct a world-class coaster, one which would be able to mold to the landscape and atmosphere provided by the park. It was hoped that such a big attraction would contribute towards making Kolmarden one of the top destinations in Sweden. 
Like many theme parks, they sent out various members of staff to experience other rides around the world to find something suitable for their park. It was at this point that they came across Rocky Mad Construction. The twisted and exciting nature of RMC rides was perfect for Colmarden's rocky landscape. Fortunately, in 2013, RMC had entered a deal with Vekoma for them to act as a broker, selling their products to European and Asian markets, thus giving the company the opportunity to build roller coasters outside of the United States. After several meetings between RMC and Colmarden, the new ride was agreed, and in 2014, the park announced Wildfire, a 110 million Swedish kroner, 12.7 million US dollar investment, slated to debut in 2016. From the start, the park wanted a world-class roller coaster, one which would set the benchmark for the industry. RMC designed Europe's tallest, fastest, and steepest wooden roller coaster, located 132 meters (433 feet) above sea level, with fantastic views of the nearby Braviken Bay. Colmarden chose RMC for the project as they had the technology to pull off such a large-scale ride and the ability to take wooden roller coaster design to the next level. The attraction's name, Wildfire, was inspired by the wildfires that the region had experienced in the past. Those fires shaped the biodiversity and landscape of the park, the same landscape the ride would become embedded into. Vertical construction of the new ride began in September 2015, and under 10 months later, in early June, the ride was complete. Finally, on the 28th of June 2016, after many years of planning and construction, Wildfire opened to guests. Featuring three inversions and 12 airtime hills, it certainly seems like a fantastic roller coaster on paper. But what does a ride on this record-breaking roller coaster actually look like? To begin, guests walk for what seems like miles to the very back of Colmarden, where Wildfire is located. At this point, they come face to face with the huge lift hill structure. Visitors pass underneath the ride's entrance sign and join the short queue. They then enter the attraction station building, which has been designed to resemble a sawmill. Saw blades, axes, and other machinery can be found scattered around the station, some of which moves above guests' heads. It's here that they then come face to face with the ride vehicles. Guests board one of the roller coaster's two trains, each of which have been styled as a locomotive. Each vehicle features six cars, which seats visitors in two rows of two. This leads to a total of 24 riders per train and a capacity of 960 riders per hour. Once boarded, the experience begins. Guests immediately turn right out of the station and begin to climb the 45 degree lift hill. Riders ascend 56 meters, 184 feet high, up the rocky landscape. Due to the terrain, the lift hill and drop are supported by four steel towers rather than a traditional wooden structure. Once at the top, the trains complete a 270 degree right hand turn, giving guests fantastic views of the scenery around them. They then pass beneath the lift hill and climb up into the ride's first drop. Before they can absorb the view, riders plummet 49 meters, 161 feet, at the maximum vertical angle of 83 degrees. It's here where the trains reach their top speed of 115 kilometers per hour, 71.5 miles per hour. Guests dive beneath other parts of the ride structure before entering the first of three inversions. The trains flip 180 degrees to the right and complete a zero-g stall. They then dive to the left and enter an outward banked airtime hill. The trains plummet back towards the ground, fly through a shed structure and complete a twisted airtime hill. A second airtime hill later and riders enter a wave turn, immediately followed by the second inversion, a heartline roll. The train then backs left, enters a twisted airtime hill and begins to climb the side of the terrain. A whip to the right brings visitors back towards the ground and into the attraction's third and final inversion, a second heartline roll. The trains pop into a back dead time hill and climb right up the rock face, all before diving beneath the first drop. The ride comes to an end with a final twist to the left, right and left again, leading guests into the final break run. During the entire experience, guests navigate 1,265 meters, 4,150 feet of track, most of which takes place within the 60 seconds of ride time measured from the top of the lift hill to the final break run. So there, that's why Kolmarden Wildlife Park, a zoo in Sweden, has Wildfire, arguably one of the world's best wooden roller coasters. But Wildfire's existence was nearly short-lived. In October of 2016, the ride closed to the public due to a permit dispute. 
miscommunication about the documentation required for the new roller coaster led to the Swedish government revoking its permit, citing environmental concerns such as noise levels and the effects on the park's wildlife. At the time, rumors circulated about the ride's demolition. Fortunately, however, wildfire still stands to this day. The attraction was given a new permit in summer of 2017, allowing for it to return to normal operation. Naturally, this impacted ridership. Year-on-year -year attendance wasn't changed greatly by Wildfire's debut. Though, the ride certainly caught the attention of regular theme park goers. Many theme park enthusiasts have traveled to Sweden to visit Kolmarden and experience their fantastic wooden roller coaster. One of those was me. Those who get to ride Wildfire love it for the unique setting, airtime-filled layout, and fantastic first drop. Though, it does lead to the question, does Parks and Resorts Scandinavia have more in store for Kolmarden? Let us know what you think or hope they'll build next in the comments down below. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you all next time.